The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. Psalm 24, verse 1. Everything. Even you, it says. The earth, everything in it, and those who dwell on it. So have a look at the parable Jesus used to teach about this in Matthew 25. It starts in verse 14. The owner entrusted his property to his people. Not everybody was entrusted with the same amount. He left it and allowed them to hold his possessions and his property. In the end, when he returned, the question was, what did you do with my property? Everything you are, everything you have is not yours. It belongs to our Heavenly Father who has entrusted it to you. What will you do with his property? This is stewardship. Jesus talks about the same thing in Matthew chapter 6. Worried about where you will live or what you will eat or worried about what you will wear? Seek God's kingdom and righteousness first and those things will be added to you. The first priority in what you do with his property is his kingdom stuff. When we assume that everything is his anyway, this makes sense. When I assume that my stuff is my stuff, it makes no sense at all. What God says here is so opposite to everything we know and about our world we live in. Godly stewardship is about as countercultural as anything you can think. How does this work? It only works if we actually get our heads wrapped around and live out the principles from last week. Faith, to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. I can't open my hands to my stuff, to my bank account, to my life, to my career, to my family, to my health, unless I really trust him. But here is God's truth. It's back in the same chapter we looked at last week in Proverbs 3. It's in the same breath as trust in the Lord with all your heart. God's instructions is, in verse 9 and 10, honor the Lord with your wealth and with the first of everything you produce. Then your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will burst with wine. Is that a promise of more material wealth? No. Is it a promise that I will have more stuff? No. Is it a, pro is it a promise of financial prosperity? No. It's a promise that you will have plenty. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, including the people who dwell in it. Everything is his, including you and your kids. God has entrusted his property to your care. How will you use it? If we're faithful with a little, Jesus said, then you're worthy of his trust with more. So if somebody wants your coat, give him your shirt too. Let God do what he wants with his stuff and see what he does in your life. This is the way of Jesus. How do I respond when God moves his stuff from my care to somebody else's? Usually I don't respond very well. How do I respond when God asks me to give generously to his cause? Well, notice I didn't say when people ask me to give generously. When God asks, then we listen to God and do what he says. Will you join me in seeking God's voice in this? What will God have you do? Stewardship with everything. Everything I have is his. Let's be countercultural. Let's walk in the way of Jesus.